Hello, viewers, and welcome to this edition of Global Vibes, the show that feels the pulse of the global community of Thunder Bay and in the region. Today joining me is Janet e. Jima, who's the president of the Thunder Bay Multicultural Association. Welcome to our studios. Thank well, you, Janity. It's wonderful to be back here with another folklore festival. We've done this many times. And really, thank you to Rogers TV for the support they give us and Global Vibes. So, so, folklore is here. You and know, Janet is here. <laughs> I am ready to travel the world and have a ball at folklore. We are coming on May 4th and 5th. Yes. That is Saturday, May 4th from 12 to 11 p.m. Sunday, May 5th from 12 to 7 p.m. And you are going to travel the world in food and entertainment. There are exhibits and the children's area is free. We are doing Senko de Mayo, so we're doing <laughs> maracas and all kinds of You've crafts. You've already transported me there, Janity. Oh, <laughs> wait till you see the beautiful dancers I'm we sure. have to share with you today. And um, they are going to bring hot Latin music to us oh, wow. during this segment. So you want to make sure that you watch them. And also, you might want to learn how to dance yes, of hot course. Latin music. And I understand they have a dance studio, so... There yeah. you go. So, Janity, let's start from the very beginning, right? So, how long has been your association with TBMA in general and specifically the Folklore Festival? I can just give you an estimate, but I know it's well over 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we started very, very small, and we have expanded because of all the volunteers, the support from our community, from sponsors. Folklore has grown mm -hmm. to massive heights. Last year, we broke all records. We had over 15,000 people come through the door and celebrating the rich cultural heritages of our country, the ethnocultural heritages and the indigenous community and all mm -hmm. the beautiful sounds and flavors beautiful. and entertainment they bring to our country. It's total magic out there. It is for sure. Okay, so now tell us a little bit about the Logistry. What are the timings um, and where is it being held? It is being held, as usual, at the Fort William Gardens and Curling Club. In the Fort William Gardens, you'll see the majestic display of all flags of the world mm -hmm. above you as you travel through the exhibit court, go to the free children's area. Everything is free there. The bouncy castle, so much. And then you come to the front and you'll see our main stage mm -hmm. where you will see the grace of Thunder Bay, the hot dance groups. You'll see groups like Chaban and Zoria. Mm -hmm. We have Latin, hot, hot Latin dancing coming to the stage as well. We have Morgan School of Highland Dancing, Three pipe bands this year. Wow. We have India Canada, everyone on the stage. And you can come into Folklore for the same prices as always. It's run by a volunteer committee and the support of our sponsors and our community. It is $5 for adults, three for seniors and students, mm -hmm. four to 12. It's a dollar for children. Aww. And if they're <laughs> under three, of course, they are free. So parents, you can bring your whole family and they can come in and play in the children's area and you won't be paying a cent. No. They can bounce on the bouncy castle three or four For times, as long as they want. whatever they want. And then you can see the beauty of the entertainment on the main stage. What a multicultural ambience you're creating, eh? And if you're feeling really hot, we've got something special for you as we do Cinco de Mayo this year. Oh. Descarga Latina from Folklorama and Winnipeg mm -hmm. is coming in to oh, perform. Oh, so we have guest uh, yes. performances as they well. are coming in as our feature entertainers. They're going to bring you hot, hot salsas, cumbayas, boleros. <laughs> you are going to have Cinco de Mayo party time at Folklore. <laughs> but you can then take a trip next door to the amazing curling club which is our international food area i was just coming to that <laughs> and the imported beers and wines oh. which you have to have to go with it yeah. michelle lander um, uh, michelle mackenzie lander said remember we need modelo you know mm -hmm. we need the spanish mm -hmm. drinks mm -hmm. uh, i fall asleep if i drink so it doesn't <laughs> work for me but 
you can actually go and have meals. We've got Italy is back, the Da Vinci is back. We've got Cajun fusion. We have just an amazing, the Spanish are there with empanadas. Oh my God. We've got Caribbean, Lebanese, Burmese, Thai, the Slovaks are there. You can travel the world in food at very reasonable prices. So tell us a little bit behind the scene. How long have you been planning and preparing for the folklore? Well, usually folklore starts almost immediately. Well, <laughs> it starts on the night of. I, uh, I go around and speak to people and say, are we going to do this next year again? Oh, and we set okay. our date. But we've actually, folklore has been in the planning since November. And next year we plan to start even earlier. Mm -hmm. We did not have to put any registration forms online. We sent them to the past groups mm -hmm. and they all came and filled everything. So we are very, very fortunate to have a community that supports and wants to celebrate the rich diversity of Canada. And Absolutely. in fact, folklore is affordable, it's family friendly, it's fully accessible, and it brings people together with understanding. Absolutely. Something I think we need even more now today than we've ever needed. COVID was a tough time for many true, people. True. Why do you say that, uh, Janity? Why do we need this more? I see when I'm at folklore, mm -hmm. people who may have been treated poorly on the streets of Thunder Bay, not mm -hmm. treated with the respect I feel they're due. Mm -hmm. At folklore, everyone is treated with respect. I stood beside um, some people and they were remarking on how beautiful the cultures are and the elegance and regality of the First Nations performers. They were talking about the Punjabi dancers who were mm -hmm. on stage. And you know what? This is what we need because there's so many terrible things said in our community and unkindnesses that exist. And I think when you come to folklore, you see we're really all one. We're just bringing great things to this nation. And my parents came as immigrants and my dad was actually a refugee from Slovakia. My mom came from uh, the Netherlands mm. and I married, my husband was Ghanaian. So, you know, that's Canada. That's what it's That's all true. about. That is so true. That, that's profound and very, very rich inside. Yeah. And you know what you can do in the exhibit area? Okay. We have a henna artist. Okay. <laughs> and you can go to this very talented young lady who will Weird. paint your hands with henna. Or if you're feeling a bit stiff, the Thai Healing Center will ah. give you a Thai <laughs> massage and you can have a lot of fun. But we have, you know, Chippewa Park is there. We have Zoria Chaban. We have a number of food booths, Caring Hands um, and Africa Matters. So you can shop the world at Folklore. We have Canadian booths as well. And it is just an amazing place. My biggest problem at Folklore is deciding where I go first and where I go back. Oh, okay. Because if I go along the corridor, I see the amazing artists that we have. From young Nathan Cross, who started very young as an artist at Folklore. And now we have Nietzsche Studio, an amazing group mm -hmm. that provides free classes to youth. And they're coming. We have Georgina and Calvin Red's guy coming to do a wonderful display. Guy de Gagne, so many of our artists returning. And you can see their beautiful works of art and purchase them and take them home or as gifts for your friends. But they are all celebrating the richness of this There's nation. something for everybody. Yeah? Well, I believe there is. Yeah. And you know what? When I look at the Kikuri Finnish dancers on stage, mm -hmm. And they said to me, you know, we weren't dancing, but y you, uh, you, you're who? <laughs> the, de the celebration after oh, St. Okay, Patrick's okay, Day okay. was coming. We decided, yes, yeah. and we're coming to folklore. Okay. So maybe we've lost um, some of our Finnish heritage when the building burnt oh, down. Yes, yes, <laughs> However, you will see hot Finnish dancing right on stage at Folklore <laughs> Festival because they are definitely back and joining us. So, Janity, um, an event of this scale and magnitude, you must have a lot of volunteers. How we, are you recruiting your volunteers? We actually encourage everyone, parents, we accept volunteers of all abilities okay. and all ages. You can go online to folklorefestival.ca, which is our website, and click on the volunteer link. 
there is a database you can register online, or if you prefer paper, download the paper application and send it in. It is the volunteers that are the life of folklore. Mm -hmm. They ensure that we can help people get around folklore. The goodwill ambassadors in traditional dress, okay. greeting people at the door, giving them a program, answering your questions. I mean, you travel the world from the minute you enter Folklore Festival mm -hmm. because of the beauty of our volunteers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize how much we count on volunteers right. every year. Right. Our own volunteer organizing committee. Oh, you have a separate committee. Yes, possibly. that organizes folklore. And they're a volunteer organizing committee. And I know they're there because their heart is in it. Jim Squire, who is the chair of folklore, yes. has been there for a very long time. And he comes back, he works so hard, and we are very lucky to have oh, him course. on board. Yeah, the entire team, yeah. Of the entire team. team of Thandavi Multicultural Association. Yeah. And, and that's the other thing. We have an amazing staff at the Thunder Bay Multicultural sure. Association. And most, many, many, in fact, I'd say most of them, volunteer for folklore. And mm -hmm. they do it by choice because they are reaching out to the community. They are helping refugees and immigrants and um, youth and they come to folklore and support us. And that means so much to me. I may be president of TBMA, but I value our of staff because yeah. you don't see that all the time. And it, it's really important. And we work together. And if you do need any support in the community, if you're an immigrant or refugee, even if you've lived here a very okay. long time, we have interpreters. Come get the advice you need. Um, recently, we had a number of Sudanese refugees come in. We had the Afghanis. And we have many, many Ukrainians. They haven't come in as refugees, but they've come to this country. And they come to the Thunder Bay Multicultural Association for support. And I'm so proud of our staff. Kathy Woodbeck is our executive director. Yes. Armando Narvies, make sure that the books are tight. And, yeah. we, <laughs> and you know, I value them. I value our board, the people, the organizations who sit on our board, because they take the message. Sure. They're bringing it to folklore. Absolutely. They're sharing it. And they're helping our community. The yeah. Karen community does yeah. so much. The values resonate with the events that you do. Yes. And there, there is a sense of belonging for everyone. And that's why they come and they contribute. Well, my parents came. My yeah. dad came, fled communism, and had as a young man. Yeah. And it was a very tough ride for him. My mother um, worked with the resistance in the Netherlands. And he, he became a Canadian soldier mm -hmm. and went overseas met her, married her, and here I am. Yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> I am very, you know, and they True. instilled in me. True. And then I volunteered in West Africa and Sierra Leone and in Ghana, and I've been in Nigeria. And you get a very big perspective that the world is not such a small place. Of course. And it's important that you appreciate and understand not just Europe and Northern Europe. You appreciate that the world isn't easy for everyone. Oh my God, yeah, very true, very true. Um, Jenity, um, tell us a little bit about, um, you, you did mention that there, you had 15,000 people Yes, last time. we broke all records last <laughs> year. We definitely did, and we had so, we actually, we recruited more volunteers than we probably needed, but yeah. everybody wanted to come. Yes. And you know what, we, we do give our volunteers a food voucher. Because for many years, they would get the pizza and the Coke and so on. But now, these young people, they'd look at the food court. Now they can go to the food court. Oh. And our food booths actually offer specials that are for only the volunteers. Oh, so they can actually taste the temptations that are there. Yeah. And that is why I recommend if you need community service hours, I'm a retired teacher, you need 40 <laughs> hours to graduate. <laughs> Yes. They should come. Yes. Bring your forms. We do give community service hours, so you can get them at Folklore. Volunteer a lot if you need it to graduate, because we will be glad to have you. You can volunteer in the children's area. You can volunteer as a goodwill ambassador in your traditional 
dress showing. Yes, yeah. You can volunteer at the information booth. You can volunteer in so many. Event patrol is one of the big ones yes. where you're directing people where to go oh, and you're yes. helping them out. Guiding them. Directly. Guiding them. And hey, if you're shy, I met a young man last year. He worked in the food court area. We need people to clean up the tables. And he's good And that. you know what? And he told me the food booths were very good to him. <laughs> And I don't know what that means, but there you go. <laughs> and so we go online to folklorefestival.ca, click on the volunteer link, and you will see all the opportunities. You can come hang flags mm -hmm. on Wednesday night and assist as we hang hundreds of flags across the top oh, the, roof. Yes, the they roof hang itself. from the roof of the gardens. You can help with setting up the stage, setting up the children's area. There are just so many jobs and we need many, many volunteers. volunteers and we can in return give you service hours. And if you are, um, you need accessibility, we welcome you. If you're a senior, we welcome you. We have a place for volunteers. We have our doors open. And um, I know I'm not to mention um, organizations or, or sponsors, but we're blessed to have a Just local, a general shout out. Thank you, A sponsors. general <laughs> superior home health care, well, provides wheelchairs. Okay. And we give them to our visitors as they come in if they need them. I think that's the kindest Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Because you can come to Folklore and, and rent. You don't pay. It's free. It's You'll free, yeah. get your wheelchair and you can enjoy it. It's a big venue. You've got the whole gardens. Yeah. You've got the food court. And you can go through it. There are accessible washrooms at the Fort William Gardens. There's, you know, what you need for a very good venue. And maybe, Janity, we can also um, invite our uh, friends and uh, from the neighboring cities, eh? From Western well, Illinois, we just... actually have an advertisement in Wawate News. Come on, North. You <laughs> yeah. come all the time and you book hotel rooms and you stay for the weekend. Yeah, we get busloads coming in. And the weather is beautiful. It's beautiful. From the northern yeah. states, there are so many who come from Minnesota and Wisconsin oh, yeah. and beyond. I had a folklore volunteer come on stage. She lived in Tennessee and she there brought her go. whole family back for Folklore Weekend. There you go. So we welcome people. We have people from Manitoba. Manitoba from all areas and we welcome you. You can travel the world <laughs> and you won't have to get on a plane to do it. Maybe a plane to get here. Or a, but, a drive. Or a yeah, or a yeah. drive. But uh, and you know what? You have a chance to win a staycation, which is an overnight stay with a water slide, a swimming pool, oh. the, uh, your dinners and your breakfast for four people. So there, there is great there potential there if you win it. <laughs> So, Janity, I think, you know, it's, it's so much to see and, uh, you know, experience from the folklore. But if there is um, a website, you know, if you can direct us to your website, that'll be great. W, yeah. Yeah, www.folklorefestival.ca. And we will take a very, very short break, dear viewers. Stay tuned. We have so much more to share. Hello viewers and welcome back to Global Vibes and we have these beautiful people who are all going to be participating, performing, volunteering, coordinating the Folklore Festival which is on the 4th and the 5th of May. So Edwin and Sharon, thank you so much for being here. You're very welcome. And I gather that you are performing at the Folklore. Which day are you performing or which day you plan to go Edwin? Both the days, there's so much happening. You know what? The Folklore Festival, you cannot take one day over the next. It is a must do on both occasions, okay. both days. So, Attendance is a must. So weekend folklore. Absolutely. <laughs> Make no other plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, how long have you been associated with the folklore? Well, if you include the amount of time that I've spent bringing my kids to folklore from when they were very little, oh it's been God. a very long time. <laughs> but uh, in performing, um, this will be my fourth year performing. Wow. There's a bit of a hiatus because of COVID and mm. some other issues, but we're really excited and looking forward to, to performing at Folklore again. Mm -hmm. And what will you be performing? Well, we're performing on two separate days. On the first day on Saturday, we'll be doing a, a salsa lady styling dance. 
And then on Sunday, two performances, a Kizomba lady styling, and uh, Edwin and I will be doing a Kizomba dance as well. Mm -hmm. So there's so much happening, hey? <laughs> Very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're bringing the world to our doorstep, right? <laughs> Edwin, yes. so okay. besides performance, mm -hmm. besides uh, you're going to be performing, besides that, what draws you to folklore? I have, I've always been the food I of, know. <laughs> I've always been a folkloric person in terms of uh -huh. uh, it's from my culture. We have our own folklore in Panama, and uh, uh, coming to moving to Canada, I started bringing my culture and sharing the love and passion for the culture, and not only my culture, the culture from pretty much most of the uh, Latin American countries, which like mm -hmm. salsa, merengue, bachata, uh, now kizomba, semba, which is from Africa. So we have actually. Uh, uh, folklore has been embedded in in my veins since uh, very little ages, very mm -hmm. very very young ages. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. And do you, you perform? I'm sure in in the town. Yes, yes, absolutely. We have actually been performing for several years. Um, in total, I have been part of the folklore festival now for six years, in, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm very excited, very excited to be returning to folklore festival now with uh, Sharon and her and her and her studio, Dama Must Dance, so, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, and I hope that uh, everybody enjoys what we're going to be uh, um, demoing later, and uh, best yet, what we're going to be doing the day of the performances. Okay, yes. and Janity, anything else that you wanted to share about um, the folklore? Oh no, just come and watch these amazing entertainers. And of course, go get your international food and imported beers and wines, which will really make you want to dance. <laughs> after your performance. You know, Absolutely. And Saturday night, you can come and practice dancing Latin dances with Descarga Latina. They yes. are known for doing salsa Sundays in Winnipeg, so they know how to get you on the floor. But I want to thank so everyone. So does Sharon. Yeah. I have seen her perform. Yeah. And so does Edward. Look, look at how she's dressed. Beautiful. Look yeah. at the beauty of this. No, yeah. you're going to see this on the folklore stage, and I can't wait to see your performance. Thank you very much. But you know what? I also would like to do to give a shout out to every other performance yes. school, and uh, because while we're actually talking about their practicing countless number of hours to bring this entertainment to you, so kudos oh. to all of the performance and credit to everybody involved in this fantastic event. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, something of this large scale, magnitude. Well, and there remember, is so much. go to folklorefestival.ca. We also have a Facebook page called Folklore Festival Thunder Bay. You can see the pictures. You can imagine yourself there. And you're going to want to come on Saturday, May 4th from 12 to 11 p.m., Sunday, May 5th from 12 to 7 p.m., and maybe you'll go home with a staycation and be <laughs> going down a water slide and swimming <laughs> and in the exercise room. But Support Folklore Festival, it is a community event that yeah. brings our people together. We celebrate our differences in the most positive ways, mm -hmm. and I love Folklore Festival, and I would like you to come if you've never experienced it, it will touch your heart and you'll have a great time while there. Absolutely. That is a beautiful wrap up, but we are not wrapping up because <laughs> we're going to be seeing Sharon and Edwin perform. What are you going to perform for us? It's just a peak show. Yeah. What are you going to be showcasing today? Well, today we're going to be doing a salsa performance. And so, yeah, just uh, <laughs> enjoy it. You of know, course, it's spicy, yeah. it's uh, yeah. fun, it's fast. So stay salsa, tuned. Yes. Yeah, stay tuned. We are going to be watching Sharon and Edwin perform on the salsa number. And uh, we'll see you all at the Folklore Festival 4th and the 5th of May, Saturday and Sunday, um, Fort William Garden and Curling Club from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday and then 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Right, Janity? That's right. You All of you are welcome. Party. Yeah, <laughs> all so of come you are welcome. On and let's have a party. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching Global Vibes.
Sara 